Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. I'm Katie and today we're going to be doing a clean with me and I have so much to do around here. I actually ended up filming the day after this and then the day after that and so definitely stay tuned if you guys are in need of a lot of cleaning motivation. If you guys are new here, I would love to have you on my channel and have you hit that subscribe button. If you guys also enjoy this video today, I would love for you to just take one second and hit the like button. But like I said, today we're gonna be tackling all kinds of cleaning and even some really gross sections of my house that I don't think I've ever cleaned in here before since we moved in. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. And a better version of me. As you guys can see, we're going to be starting here in my bedroom today and I love to start the day with the made bed and getting ready for the day. I just feel like I am much more productive. Here I'm just putting away some of my Christmas presents that my mom got me. She got me that really cute little clutch there from Coach and then a bunch of lotions and stuff. She always gets me the cutest gifts. And I'm going to go ahead and get all that organized and finally put away, being it's a few days past Christmas. And when I was getting ready this morning, I love to do my makeup in these mirrors right here and kind of sit down and put on the latest YouTube videos that my friends put up. And I noticed that these mirrors had a ton of smudges on them. So I'm going to go in with my favorite glass cleaner. This is the Spray Away Foam Spray. And I get this at Target. I think it's around $2.99, but it is the best spray. And I know paper towels are frowned upon and a lot of people don't like to use them. They like to use a cleaning cloth, but I have found that spray away in the combination with a paper towel that just leaves my mirrors absolutely spotless. And so if you guys have never tried spray away, I definitely highly recommend it. just a couple of seconds you guys are gonna see me dump out all this laundry and I know I'm only showing two laundry baskets here but there was actually even another one in the loft so I ended up putting away three full baskets of laundry look at that killer slow-mo right there but I am definitely gonna tackle these and get it all caught up and put away and I don't want to keep you guys sitting here staring at me putting away a mountain of laundry so I did a little bit of editing magic there and I so wish I could just snap my fingers and be like Mary Poppins and get that put away like that in real life. But I am really happy that I got it done. A lot of the times I'll just put on like a show or YouTube and I'll watch TV while I fold laundry just to make it a little bit more appealing. Here I just wanted to show you guys the random find that I found at Target today. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Function of Beauty. I've seen them floating around on Instagram and I've been wanting to try their products and they had just gotten into Target. So I picked up a couple bottles of 
their shampoo and conditioner and then you can also get like a boost shot I think they call them and so you can more customize your shampoo and conditioner to your hair needs and so I thought that was really cool so um, I shared it over my Instagram too and a bunch of you guys went nuts so I thought why not share on here as well So on Monday, or actually I'm posting on Tuesday this next week, I usually do post on Mondays, but just a heads up, I'll be actually posting on Tuesday next week because I'm doing a collaboration with my friend Julianne, and I love her home and I love her cleaning videos, and I saw her use spray away on her glass shower with a squeegee, and so I thought I would give this a shot. I thought it was such a cool idea. I've also seen her try toilet bowl cleaner, and I think she said that worked really well. Um, but I also love to use magic erasers in my tubs and my showers, so I do need to come in my shower and give it a really good scrub, but I usually clean my shower when I'm in it. Let me know down below what you guys do. Do you guys also save the shower cleaning for when you're inside the shower? It's just easier and you don't have to worry about like getting all wet because you're already in there showering anyways. So that's why you guys don't see me do a lot of like shower cleaning because I usually do it when I'm in there. But I definitely wanted to try this squeegee trick. Let me know if you guys have any like hidden secrets or like good ideas on things that you use to clean your shower. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. This is what I was talking about in the beginning of my video. I don't think, I, well maybe my husband has, but I haven't personally cleaned this vent cover here in the upstairs. It was so disgusting. So I grabbed my Dyson and I put on the smaller attachment and I'm at like the weirdest angle because this is right at the top of the stairs and it is like vaulted ceilings and then it drops down to the first story. So I had to kind of get a weird angle at this, but it was so nasty, but it was so satisfying to watch this back and see it go from totally gross to nice and clean. So definitely a reminder for you guys, if you have not cleaned your vents where your AC filter goes, I think that's what these are called, pause this video and go check it out and let me know in the comments what yours looked like. Was it clean or was it like out of control like mine? As you guys can see, I finally made it downstairs. The boys are playing really nicely in the loft, so I'm not even gonna bother touching that today because if I clean it, they're just gonna tear it right back apart. But I'm super excited to show you guys my new dishwasher. You can kind of see it right here, but I'll give you a better look at it. I am just so excited. I'm officially at that level in life in my 30s where I get really excited, excited over appliances. I think because our other one was seriously so bad, that just makes this one that much more sweet. And I got a Whirlpool. I got it on sale and I think usually it was around $800, but I stole it for $600 with 
If you guys have ever priced out dishwashers, they can be well over a thousand dollars and I was just not willing to spend that. So I thought this one was an amazing deal being it had this extra tray on top and then I had the little fold down things for my wine glasses and then the tray for like all your utensils you can either put it on the door or you could slip it in the bottom drawer here and it's just nice and clean it has the buttons on the top where my old one had a big black face plate on it and all the buttons were exposed and this one actually matches my other appliances so I'm really excited to use this today I've only used it I think once or twice before what you guys are watching right here so it is definitely still very exciting and I don't mind doing dishes right now but as you guys can see I have some lingering dishes here from cooking dinner the night before so I'm gonna go ahead and get those tackled I've shared these before I do get home chef boxes and every once in a while they send me these little coupons for $30 off an order and I always love to throw them on here that way if one of you or two of you I have two of them today go ahead and pause this video and type it in on the home chef website or you can screenshot this if you are watching it on your phone and go over and save $30 and get some free meals you guys I love sharing these with you comment below let me know if you snag one I've already given them out to like all my friends and family so I love being able to share these with you guys who doesn't love to save money and not have to meal plan I'm all about that home chef life or like hello fresh I've done both and this is not sponsored I pay to have those meals delivered to me every week and they are seriously so amazing so i would love for you guys to go ahead and take those coupons and go enjoy them for yourself or maybe you've been curious about trying them out but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the trash and get this all taken out i wanted to also ask you guys how often do you take out your trash because i feel like i have to take mine out every single day and that just seems excessive to me but is that normal do you guys have to empty your trash can every day or are you able to do it every couple of days i'm super curious we ain't got the time tell me now if you want
So my camera was full, the little SD card got full and I don't know where it cut me off. I was like on a roll mopping and then when I was done, I went to go hit stop record and it wasn't recording. So I'm sitting down right now to pull all my footage and then get on the computer so I can get this edited for you guys. But I thought I would go ahead and at least put an ending to this video so it didn't just like cut off out of nowhere. But thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, I would love if you would just hit that like button. It helps my channel out a ton and only takes a second. Also, if you guys have not yet subscribed, I would love to have you here on my channel and follow along this YouTube journey with me. I hope today's video gave you a ton of motivation and just gets you all ready to get up and get things done around your homes as well. Again, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Pride. That's where I never thought it would matter. If I'm gone.